Hey, what's going on? Um, just wanted to do kind of do a sort of a summation video. Um, pretty much everything that I've been doing videos on, 95% of it, has been all about um, my recovery and the um, preparing for the Pittsburgh Half Marathon. Uh, and this is the last video go that's going to be talking about either of those things. As far as I'm concerned, I am recovered. So, unless there's something that needs to be said about uh, my condition going forward, this is going to be the last time I talk about it. Uh, I generally, um, I, I feel great. Uh, the... Whatever symptoms I was having, whether related to the aneurysm or not, are essentially gone. Uh, so, uh, no symptoms. I have annual checkups that uh, need to be done. Uh, I believe that includes a CT scan and echocardiogram. Uh, that'll be done annually in November, I believe is when I'm scheduled to have that done again. Maybe, no, maybe, um, see my surgery was in November, might be December or January, um, either way, uh, it, it, it's, but that's going to be one of those no news is good news kind of things, um, I'm not foreseeing any kind of, any kind of problems, but you never, nope, you never foresee problems, um, as for the race, um, the race, ooh, hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, as for the race, the race went uh, really well. Uh, not time-wise, not as good as I'd liked. I was sick. Um, had it been a full marathon, I don't know that I would have even bothered. Uh, but half marathon, just under three hours. Uh, not the time I was shooting for, but all things considered, I am pleased. Uh, a couple takeaways from from this race specifically. Uh, a lot of a lot of crowd support, more than I remember. From before I, I said that in my previous video uh, but yeah a lot more crowd support than I remember um, also a kind of a, a negative thing a lot more litter than I remember and it was litter from it was these things this is what I ran to get it was these um, not necessarily this brand uh, I don't want to put honey stinger on blast but um, energy gel wrappers I I've never been, now granted, I've been out of I've been out of things for a while. I've never seen so many energy gel wrappers on the course. It was depressing. Um, you know, just because you you know you're going you, just because when you go through aid stations, you can throw your cups and stuff on the ground. You know, it doesn't mean that you should just throw whether energy gels or whatever it doesn't mean you should just throw it indiscriminately wherever you're in a city there are garbage cans i had an energy gel that i i sucked down and you know what i did with the wrapper i held on to it until i got to a garbage can i threw it in the garbage can i mean come on that it makes the running community look bad it there are races trail races it, like if you do this kind of stuff and you get caught you may be thrown out of the race. I've heard of that happening before. Um, it just it tend to your litter, you know, just, it, 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 it was really, for me, it personally, it was really discouraging. I try to, I try to be as neat and tidy as possible. And apparently, I don't know if it's a new breed of runner, runners that have come in over the, you know, over like the, six, seven years that I've been going away, but I don't ever remember seeing a fraction of this amount of crap on the course. Um, I know it's a big race. I've been in other big races and no, it, it just didn't, didn't seem like it was, yeah, you'd see it. You'd see it occasionally. You might see something like shortly after transition or shortly, cause they'll hand these energy things out. They'll hand them out during the race. You might see them like immediately following the handout for, you know, maybe a quarter mile after they were all over the course. I, I could not believe, and not just all over the course, like the start of the course. I, 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 I just, I don't know. It, it really bugged me.
but um, so yeah, I, you know, I, I'd like to say, you know, just a, a little, little snarky, do better people. It, it, you know, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's still litter. In the recovery stations, it's expected. Just on the course generally, no. No, you were littering, you're making a mess. Knock it off. Uh, so, yeah, so that was my little rant from the from that time. Um, uh, had a, but oh, uh, <laughs> tying in with some of the other, uh, one of my other interests. So I train while I was on the course. Um, Pittsburgh, I know, Ac uh, not, is it Akron? No, Cincinnati has train tracks that run like right beside the course. Um, but this, I actually saw a train, so I got to see the whole thing, the front and the back. Uh, it was uh, two, two Norfolk Southerns and a Canadian National locomotive pulling this train along. Um, so that was, that was kind of cool. Uh, uh, what else? Anything else interesting? I mentioned the bands in the previous video. Uh, five different bands that was on, at least on the first half of the course, back half of the, back half of the course, I don't know. Uh, what else was there of note? Um, I think all told, uh, between, wa between the race and then walking to and from my car multiple times, I think all told I, I did like 17 miles that day. Um, because it was about a mile walk to my car, to the packet pickup, back to the car, back to the start of the race, run the race, back to the car. So three, four, and 15, 16, yeah, so yeah, at least 17 miles. <laughs> all told um uh weather was weather was okay the rain held out um periods of little drizzliness but the worst the worst of it was right at the start of the race between when the first runners started and my corral when we got started um that was the worst of the rain and it wasn't really bad but like i said in the video it was enough to get my feet wet and I don't know. I, I feel like I was scrunching my toes up the whole time because my toes were bothering me. Um, mostly the the second toe in from the big toe was was really was really hurting. It didn't bother me as much when I ran, um, but I spent most of the last four miles walking. Um, four miles, yeah, I mean about, about four miles. I spent I spent more of a walking than running. We'll, we'll say that. Uh, I think my my group finish. 300 and something group it was like 40 uh, I forget if it was 45 I think it's group 45 four, males age 45 to 49 um, might have been 46 to 50 I don't remember but I was in like the high 300s <laughs> oh so yeah but I don't really run these things for that uh, I just you know try to have a good time um, going forward I'd really like to try to do one half marathon every month through October. I don't know that that's going to happen. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find a race close by for June. I found one that I'd like to do, but it conflicts with some other stuff that I have going on. So I don't know that I'm going to do it. Um, I found a, there are some races in July I can do. Haven't looked at August, but no, oh wait, no, July is Presque Isle. Probably going to do that one. August is Akron. Probably going to do that. September is, I think, Akron again. So what they do is like the August race is a half and a 10K. And then the September race, I think it's in September, is a full and a half. So I might do Akron twice. I don't know. I like Akron. Um, what else? Not a whole lot else. I... Uh, I'm trying, I, I do want, I, I, over the past few months, I've been going to places, I've been taking pictures, taking some video, I want to get them all edited together, and, uh, you know, uh, like going to, like, different, like, museums and stuff like that, I'd like to get those that kind of edited together and put up, um, someday, someday I may actually even build something on this, on this channel, that was my intention, of doing kind of, like, condensed videos of things being built, because I personally like watching that kind of stuff, and, kind of wanted to do the same thing, but I don't know that that's, uh, man, you get, you get into spring and you're just tr playing it, trying to play catch up, dodging weather, trying to play catch up, getting yard work done and everything. It's, it's, it's hard getting, 
it's hard getting the stuff done that you need to get done and then putting that alongside the things you want to do um you know because again this time this part of the country we've got like a six month window to do outdoor activities <laughs> um that you know that where the weather's halfway decent because you know i'm big into auto racing i love going to air shows stuff like that and but it's not a year-round deal um in fact the one local track, they their opening night was Saturday. They got rained out. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it this weekend. Um, oh yeah, and that's the other thing too. I got two kids graduating high school this year. Um, so, uh, you know, and by this year, I mean in like two weeks. <laughs> so we got their graduation. We got open house. Um, that actually conflicts with something else that I was wanting to try to do. Um, so it, it's just. It never ends. I'm hoping. I'm hoping once we get through mid June, things start kind of <laughs> my schedule starts relaxing a little bit as it is now. I got I got crap I got to get done um, before before day's end. So um, that's it. I am going to get this posted right now. And yeah, that's it. All told, things went well. Um, like I said, last time I'm going to be talking about my recovery. As far as I'm concerned, I am recovered and back to as normal as I can get, all things considered. Um, so, yeah, that's it. If you want to see some upcoming adventures, uh, yeah, stay stay tuned, I guess. I definitely appreciate any any support. Um, yeah, it helps me in ways you don't realize. So, thanks. Take it easy.